Hey, this is Chris Roper from the IGN PlayStation team, and today I'm here to talk about MotorStorm. Uh, the PlayStation 3 has been out for a handful of months now, and it's only just now finally getting some of the big titles we've been waiting for, like Virtual Fighter 5, Formula 1 Championship Edition, and now MotorStorm. MotorStorm first made a big splash back at E3 a couple years ago when the PlayStation 3 was first announced, and ever since that initial trailer, fans have been really hyped for the game. Sony's been saying all along that the game would eventually get up to the point of how it looked in the trailer, and while that's not true, uh, it does contain all the chaos that was shown there, and it looks fantastic, and it really, so far, is the system seller for the PlayStation 3. Now, the big selling point of MotorStorm is that the whole game basically takes place in the dirt, and more specifically, the mud. Uh, vehicles can actually deform the mud in real time, leaving up sloppy trails, and you know, if, if a big truck goes through and leaves, leaves a nice tire mark, then the motorcycles have to deal with uh, what's left over, basically, in its wake. Now, the mud isn't only a visual thing. While it looks really cool, and the game really does look fantastic, um, it actually changes the way that you play the game. And the courses have been designed around this, so you'll find multiple pathways where, say, in the beginning you'll start and there'll be a ramp heading up top over some hills, and ATVs and bikes will want to go up there. The path is a little harder to navigate, but it's, um, and it's actually a little bit longer than the rest of them, but it's safer, basically, for bikes and ATVs. Where down at the bottom, the big trucks go through the mud, take their time, but it's a more straightforward path, and they can basically run into each other, knock each other off the walls and such. Now, if the bikes try to go down low in the mud, then they'll be slipping and sliding through the mud, and the trucks will take them out. And vice versa, if the trucks or buggies or some of the big, bigger vehicles try to go up top, they actually won't be able to make some of the jumps, and they'll fall down, and, and they'll basically lose a lot of time that way. So you have to pick your, you have to pick your style. And, and one of the cool things is the game really enforces you changing vehicles between each of the events, so that you can't just always take a bike or an ATV or a buggy or, or mud hop or whatever into every event. You have to constantly switch. So you're constantly changing with pads you're taking, you're constantly changing your racing style, and that really does help keep the game fresh from course to course. MotorStorm's biggest strength uh, is the fact that it's completely chaotic. Uh, if you get down in the mud and you're, you're tangling with three or four or five other vehicles, then basically it's as much of almost like a battle game as it is as a racer. You're fighting against the environment and you're fighting against other cars. And of course, if you've seen any footage of the game before, the wrecks look fantastic. The physics here are great. Cars deform in real time, parts go flying everywhere. You hit a wall, you explode, and you know, everything goes down in slow motion, and your guys flying through the air and getting run over, and the wrecks just look fantastic. And basically, as you're riding around the tracks and you're bumping into stuff, and you're basically hanging on for dear life. The, the, the coolest part about MotorStorm is, even if you don't win the race, the whole time you're saying, holy crap, that was a cool wreck. Holy crap, I barely survived that. And it's just this edge of your seat experience the whole way from start to finish. Now what helps facilitate this chaos is the track design. Um, the tracks in the game are very, very punishing. Um, if you've played the, the downloadable demo on the PlayStation Network, um, you'll know that uh, you're basically racing on a cliffside, and if you take a turn too fast, you're just going over the side of the cliff. And that's true for a lot of the courses in the game. And if it might not be a cliff, it might be the side of a wall. And so if you take a turn too fast, you're smacking into it and dying. Jumps, you'll wind up in the wrong part of the course, you'll just fly into um, pits you're not supposed to be in, all kinds of stuff like that. So basically, you're lucky if you survive it at all. Now, while the track design is really cool and there's a whole lot of chaos that goes on in there, the game's biggest downside is that there aren't that many tracks. So unfortunately, after a while, you, it starts becoming a little repetitive. And the nature of the design means that you can't go backwards. So you're always racing in, in one direction on each of these tracks. They don't have any mirror tracks to, you know, sort of fakely double the amount of tracks in the game. So, you know, after the first hour in the game, you're gonna be kind of doing the same thing over and over again. Now, like I said before, the game does force you to take different vehicles out depending on which event you're in. And, you know, sometimes you'll have to be a bike racing against trucks or whatever. So it does do pretty well to mix up the sort of events that you're in. But honestly, it just, there's not as much content as there could have been. And that really is, is the biggest, is the game's biggest drawback is that, you know, it just kind of gets repetitive because there aren't that many places to race on. Now, one of the things that will keep fans coming back to MotorStorm for a long time is the online play. The game is really, really fun online. Um, you have full voice support, so you can talk a bunch of trash, which is really important in a game like this when you're constantly knocking into people. Um, and the game keeps a sort of ranking system 
online, which unfortunately, I guess they must have liked Vanilla Ice's uh, very short movie career because you can actually go from a zero to a hero in the game. But you know, that's it was their call. But uh, but yeah, it's really cool. So you can actually earn points and move up in ranks, and it, it kind of uh, you know gives you boasting things to go back to your friend and, and gives you things to work for and keeps you coming back for more. So overall, while Motorstorm might not have actually gotten to the point of perfectly recreating that original trailer that Sony showed, it is a really, really fun racing game. Really, its only shortcoming is the fact that there aren't enough tracks in the game. Aside from that, the game is great in every respect. The controls are great, um, the track design's fantastic, the fact that there are multiple paths to go through is really fun, and it's just 100% chaos 100% of the time. So along with games like Resistance and Virtual Fighter V, PS3 is finally coming into its own, and, and Motorstorm is, is, is really good proof of this. So if you have a PS3, then there's absolutely no reason not to go out and buy Motorstorm. It's one of the best games in the system and one of the best racing games you're going to find anywhere anytime soon. For our full written review, check out IGN.com.